Hearn, who does the, the show off the back of Britain's yeah, Got more Talent, talent. would ask questions about the Cheryl situation. Of course, that kind of never materialised. It never happened. It? I, I was watching, waiting for it. But um, we will have to bear in mind that Carol is his boss. Yeah. Fair, oh, no, no. I'm not, certainly not saying no him. More. I can no, understand no, no, the as situation. You say, <laughs> as you say, you know, good for Mulhern. If anyone could uh, ask the question, he would have done. But uh, he chose not to. So uh, maybe there were reasons for that. Just quickly as well, of course, the news we've been spectating for over a week now. Finally, we can... Oh, confirm who <laughs> the panel are for the UK X Factor. I'm always, I'm always bored with it now, quite frankly. Uh, here, they, here they are. It's, it is Tanita Kontostavlos uh, from n -Dubs. She has been confirmed. Kelly, actually, she's young, yes. People arguing, does she have the credentials to judge? Um, I've interviewed, interviewed her a few mm. times. And you know what? Certainly are. And, of course, last night it was all about Britain's Got Talent. Did you see it? Well, at last, the semi-finals hit our screens. Uh, and it was exciting to see uh, the cream of the BGT crop uh, complete for a live place. The, compete for life place in the final and of course the return of Mr Simon Cowell Christine mm. certainly uh, shaking up the judging panel check out the entrance which is actually um, but of course which is always nice you can always rely on Anton Deck can't you just to get straight to the crux what's been on the lips all week of course uh, having a little rib about the accent take a look can, can you understand quiet dead quiet okay. There oh. had to be some kind of a joke, wasn't it? It was the elephant in the room. Everyone's oh, wanted to ask him. Wasn't so. it just? And it would always be Anson Deck that could get away with it. Well, um, check this out. One to watch. Jack D uh, returns tonight as a failed stand-up and serial liar. Rick sent with a pig. Have a look. Oh, well done. <laughs> I love Jack Great too. series. He's so good. Looking mm. forward to that. Uh, quick look as well. The three you might like to record. ITV1. So do enjoy. Excellent. Thank you, Anna. Well, is here with our showbiz news and Colin Robertson. With regards to Anton Deck and any other things that might have happened he is the from boss, the presenters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, 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 they're beyond sacking. Yeah. But if some, but, but maybe if the warm-up guy came in. And Actually, he was, he was usurped as well, wasn't he, by uh, Mike Darnell from Fox. Um, he essentially was the one that said, no, actually, no, I don't want her. Exactly. So as you say, so Simon... his hands were tied, but... Yeah, arguably you know, he did as much as he could for her. They didn't her. give her much time oh, over in America, That's one thing they, they do, and there's big bucks at stake. Yeah. I mean, you know... Half of the story, the yeah. other half is who is actually on... Well, the finally, as I say, Colin and I were very pleased. Finally, I think, didn't we look for what they're wearing, every single word that they say, mm -hmm. and you kind of tend to forget about what the show is about. That's, that's true, but, I mean, that, that's, that's the conversation at the moment because we've nothing else to talk about. Mm. So we're waiting for the judging panel. Tomorrow they'll sit down for the first time. But, uh, you know, I, I was talking to Louis Walsh yesterday about what was going on. Colin, this is making your job <laughs> easier, isn't it? Isn't that every day? It's our world. <laughs> Thanks very much. I'll see you later on. Yes, yes. thank you.